621 is still officially winter for another week plus, but now is the time to start thinking about spring and summer camp for your children. 7 News is Christine Scarpelli live in Greenville at the Children's Museum of the Upstate. Good morning. Boy, this place encourages fun and play and doing so with a little bit of education all mixed in there. Jesse Amos with us here this morning. And we're so glad because it is time to start talking about spring any day now. Absolutely. Really, I'm pretty ready. I'm there. Uh, spring comes Easter and a lot of really fun events, but also spring camp mm -hmm. here at the Children's Museum of the Upstate. Tell me what we need to know. What's this look like? Sure. So spring break camp is the week of March 18th. So that is coming up. Registration closes this week. Um, parents can book their campers um, by the day, and the theme is all about spring. So they'll be learning about bees and pollination, flower power, making greenhouses, the water life cycles, all kinds of fun things that week. Very good. Uh, this is important because many people might stick around for spring yep. break looking for something to do. If mom and dad still have to work, do they have to be here during? They do not. They can drop off at 845, pick up after lunchtime, and we occupy your kids while you're at work, getting things done, whatever you need to do. Um, kids will have a great day here with us. Good to know. That yeah. might be really helpful. Okay, uh, let's talk about STEAM and STEM. Yes. Why is it important to focus on those things when you do camp? It really um, aligns with what they're learning in the classroom, but oh. here in the museum they get to do it in a fun and creative and a little bit of a different way. So whether it's a science experiment, like here we're making bee baths, it's an art activity, um, or maybe even some math that's in there. Kids won't even really know that they're learning like they might be in the classroom because sneaky. they're at the museum. Ah, uh, very sneaky. Um, don't forget, we're making bunnies. Yes, we are. Because why? Because we have spring events coming up. So Spring and Sprout is our annual Easter and Earth Day event, which will <laughs> be cute. on March 29th. And Bunnyburg will be in Spartanburg on March 30th. Bunnyburg, yes. very yes. good. Thanks for something for both campuses. Absolutely. We need to sign up fast. Uh, how do we do that? Absolutely. So it's going to be on our website, tcmuupstate.org. Get those tickets in advance. It is a fundraiser for the museum, so all guests are required to purchase tickets. Okay. Um, it'll be a fun day. The whole museum's open. The Easter Bunny will be here for photos. You get to make Easter bunnies, um, and we'll have a lot of community partners in here with us as well. Maybe a petting zoo, <gasps> Girl Scouts. All petting kinds of fun zoo, things. guys. Yeah. Bunnies like. Oh, look at that. Little Patricia little, here. Little bunnies. Oh, yours is better. <laughs> no. Super cute, Fred. We're working on our bunnies here as you sign up for camp. And that fun, what do you think? Little bunnies and a live petting zoo. That's a good combo. Thank you, Christine. You're watching 7 News on a